Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they promised me very bold up here. Can I get one? <laughs> I crashed one before, but uh, I need another one now, I think. Uh, okay, I got 12 minutes with you guys uh, to share some uh, thoughts. And uh, I was introduced to Vima for uh, almost five years ago. And uh, ordinary guy uh, went to school some year. You know, the guy that not be on the lessons. You are more in the hangout room with, uh, with others. And uh, I have been told that you need to go to school and uh, get a great uh, job. Have anybody heard that? And uh, actually, when I was introduced to Vima, is it anybody in here that's actually are on a, on a convention like this for the first time? Oh, cool. I've been it also, and uh, I remember I sitting there in the back, and you are thinking like this uh, thoughts that. Is this too, too good to be true? Can it be real? Can I do this? Can I be successful in this kind of company? Have you heard that? Some, Sometimes people say that, that this is too good to be true. Uh, I have some facts that I want to give you to raise your belief in this industry because it doesn't matter what, what you are going to do. People are always going to tell to you that Things are too good to be true. And I like to uh, look at uh, statistics. And most of the people know that 3% of the uh, world is like control 97% of the money, right? And that's an interesting part because 97% of the people on Earth, to me, if I look uh, in, in, in by the most people in my... Uh, friendships and stuffs, they have the same problem, they have the same thinking, they complain about the same things. Uh, do you recognize that? Yeah. So, if, if you see an industry like this, that you actually can start from the bottom, making to the top, and you have a healthy energy drink, and it's all, almost, I think, uh, I only know in Sweden, but 500 million cans was sold last year with sugar bombs. And you have one here that have nutrition in it. And you come to your friends and you say, I got a healthy energy drink, you can do business on this and that. And people say to you, it's too good to be true. And why they say like that is because I believe that when you're growing up, people, you're, you're like, you, you teach from your parents and stuff, and, and if most people on earth do the same things, talk the same talk and stuff, you're gonna get into that. You with me? No? <laughs> okay. Can I get a verb bold? Bold, 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 bold. From the back. Thank you. Uh, Too good to be true, right? Uh, so with that, I want to tell you what all the stuff in the world that are too good to be true. Have you seen a bird? Yeah, bird flies, right? Yeah. Someone at one day think that if I build a bird with the engine and put some seats in it, we can fly people all over the world. Too good to be true. Someone. Uh, put like uh, some glass and put something in and we're gonna get this uh, to be like light, like sun and uh, fire. You, it? you see the lamp? You have seen the lamps? Yeah, it's too good to be true. This phone, you can put it in your ear, talk to, and my voice is going out here and down in the uh, other place in the whole world. That's too good to be true. And people are so Weird, because they are like going into a store, buy tobacco, that it literally says, if you buy this, smoke this, you're gonna die. 
And if you come to them and say, oh, you're drinking unhealthy energy drink. I got a healthy here. Oh, it's too good to be true. So what's the problem? Is it the problem, the business, or is it, or is it the problem about the people around? The people around. Because when you are young, they tell to you, like, how many of you here speak one language that you didn't learn in school? Everyone, right? Th th that's the proof. You have learned something from the people around you when you're growing up. Do you know wh why you are afraid of spiders? No, because people have told it around you when you grow up. So you don't know. And that's the same that you actually, you can go, people said to me, you can go to school to get a good job. That's great. If you want to have a good job, if you want to be a doctor, engineer or something, you need to go to school. But 97% of the people on earth do what all the people around them also do. And the interesting part is about all the things on earth that are too good to be true, most, most of them are true. Like Vima, this is true. Verb, this is true. You can actually start. You can start with no skills, get into this business, actually do what the other successful people do, and over time, you're gonna be successful as well, if you are willing to put in the time, effort, and what, what, what it's need to be done to do that. So, when people say to me that things are too good to be true, I laugh, because I, I'm so tired of that, because the world is filled of opportunities. This is one. If you not wanna do Vima, you get other opportunities, but don't let people around you talk you out of opportunities. So you need to change your thinking into the 3% thinking that are the people that actually gonna hire you. The, the people that believed in the dreams, build up the company, build up the cell phone, or whatever it is, they are the people that hire all of the other people that go around thinking everything is too good to be true, it's only un one way to do in life, and that's it to do like everybody else do. I'm not that kind of person, I wanna have freedom, I love uh, travel, I love being with friends, and I wanna have the time in my life to do whatever I wanna do. Uh, I wanna leave you with two topics that can help you build your business. And I, I will say like this, we talk about helping people, right? But I can tell you, you can help people in two ways. You can help them fail, and you can help them succeed. And I believe in something that's called tough love. And I love this uh, uh, quote that my friend put up on Instagram another day. And it's like this. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. And what the young... What I mean with that, don't, when you help people, teach people how to do the business. My sponsor, he have teached me, given me the step-by-step -step, uh, roadmap to succeed in this business. The people that you're gonna hear on stage talk about, they have already done it. So it's like a book that you just, if you just are willing to follow, and if you, as a leader, if you want to become a leader, you need to learn first. first. Be a good student. Study success. Because if you do that, you can teach other people. And that's... I love this business because that was what, what, what we are doing when we are out there. I'm so proud of all these people 
in my organization and in whole Vima that I see young people, older people, but today I'm going to talk about young people because I see so much people that are out partying, doing bad stuff. I've done it for many years before. And here you can come into something that you actually, on Friday nights and Saturday nights, I see people like 19 years old talk about health, talk about how you can be, become an entrepreneur, how you can build your business. That's for me cool. That's for me true. That is not too good to be true. So that's what we do in the young professional revolution. We learn and we teach. We talk about health, we talk about building business, thinking different, and it's about statistics. If you wanna have like 97% of the people have, do what they do. If you wanna have what 3% of the people have, do what they do, and over time, you're going to be successful. I want you guys to uh, help me introduce, uh, I'm going to introduce some of the most successful people from uh, Sweden. And uh, they have uh, done an incredible job. They are leaders for their organization. They are doers. They do self what they want other people to do. So first, I want you to help me. Uh, to the stage, Mr. Jiman Daisade, Executive Leader. My, uh, my, okay, no, music down. Next person, uh, my wonderful girlfriend, Executive Leader, Sora Hellström. One of my uh, friends, uh, and today best friend, executive leader, almost our executive, Johan Aslan. <laughs> and the last one, brand new presidential, Said Adibi. Uh, it's an honor for me to uh, invite these people to the stage uh, because uh, I remember when I was sitting in the back uh, almost five years ago and uh, today uh, one person called me up in uh, Sweden and said, you pop in cars like champagne. Yes, we do. <laughs> okay, you, you didn't like that. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, this uh, successful person some uh, questions and they're going to share with you some uh, tips and uh, how you actually can uh, build a successful business in uh, Vima. A business actually in a global business because many of these persons actually are starting growing their business outside Sweden. So that's really, really cool. Uh, Johan Aslan, uh, you have done the business now for... One year. One year, almost our executive, that's cool. How many cycles last month? 154. That's cool, a round of applause. <laughs> uh, can you uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, important qualities of being a young profession leader in Vima? Little short about me. My name is Johan Aslan, 29 years old. Uh, I worked as an engineer for four years. I recently resigned my job to do Vima full time. Um, oh. Three qualities I want to share with you today that has served me very, very well. Number one, be humble. Because when you're humble, people will respect you. When you're humble, 
then you will be coachable and that is necessary for you to become successful. Number two, stay hungry and be consistent. You will have ups and downs. It doesn't matter. Just stay hungry and consistent all the time. You have to be like a lion that's hungry that hasn't been eaten for three days. Yeah. Number three, <laughs> I want to share a, sh a short story. There is a woman. She takes her son to a master and she says, Master, master, please tell my son to ste stop eating sugar. And he says, of course, but come back in two weeks. Two weeks later, the woman goes again to the master and she's, she says, Master, Master, please tell my son to st stop eating sugar. He looks at the son and he says, stop eating sugar. And immediately the son stops. And then the woman asks, why? Why did I have to wait two weeks? And he said, I, I had to stop for two weeks before I can tell anybody else. Lead by example. If you want... If you want people to work hard, you work hard. That's my tips. Thanks for me. And I can tell you, he's a man of his word. He asked me uh, when he started. Uh, it, sometimes it's so interesting why some people get uh, successful. Because the second day, he went into my living room with uh, cameras and stuff. And I, what are you doing? I'm going to film you so I can learn. That, that, Easy to do, easy not to do. Some people do it, like 3%, 97 will not even pick up and do notes. That's the difference. Okay, uh, Sarah went executive uh, this month. Uh, I, I actually, uh, almost four years ago, I tried to get her into the business. She liked the product, but I think some people from her hometown talk her out the opportunity. And, uh, that's why you have a name list, and uh, she was on that one. And I hit her up when I moved to Stockholm. And uh, for like one year, she told me no to, to be uh, in relation, you know. <laughs> but we, we, we successful people, we don't take no for a no. We keep on, right? Uh, Sarah, can you uh, uh, tell me why did you decide to start with me Vima, except uh, for, with me though? Uh, <laughs> why did you decide to start with Vima? Um, in the beginning, uh, I saw Vima as a good chance to, to get some extra money. I thought, like, you know, help a lot of people get healthier and earn some extra cash. That was good to me. Um, then this guy, he forced me to go to the last convention. In, uh, it was in Munich. And I think I got a bit shocked because I had no expectations and I saw all these people and everyone was super excited and, you know, so fired up. And, you know, the Swedish people can be a bit laid back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I remember I was sitting in the, in the crowd and I was so inspired of BK and all the people on the stage. And I just thought that I want to be on that stage. I want to inspire people the way they inspired me to, yeah, to get a change. And... I think a lot of people out there, they, they want to change, they want to do something bigger, but they don't have the confidence and the trust in themselves. So I saw Vima as a tool to, to reach my goals and my dreams, but also as a tool to help a lot of people reach their goals and their dreams. Great, great. Uh, and I I see, uh, I heard from the, uh, if I look at uh, the statistics from the industry, I think like 70%, right, are women doing the business. But in Vima, it's much less. Uh, I think that we have many upcoming girl leaders uh, for sure here in Europe. And uh, we are really excited about that. Right, girls? Yeah. Do we have any girls in here? That's cool. Uh, okay, Said, you have done the business for two and a half years. You went elite this uh, month. Uh, I think we will give him an extra round of applause. Uh, Thank you. And that, that's also a cool thing about this business because I, I think it took me like three years, and this guy do it in two and a half years. 
So it's cool. Uh, can you tell me some, and tell the people about some keys for success and what's important keys to build a successful business? Sure. Uh, I think the main key is uh, consistency, like Johan said. Uh, see this business as, see, see doing Vima for at least two or three years before you see any good results. But you still have to work five to ten hours every single week. And uh, I mean, if you have read the book, uh, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, um, definitely my favorite book. I've read it many, many times. And it's helped me a lot. And the best way I think I could uh, explain it is um, if you compare Vima with like a gym. If you want to get in the best shape of your life, you use Vima, uh, you use the gym as a vehicle, as a tool. But it's still you who have to go there every single week and work out, right? And uh, your sponsors, your uplines, they are the personal trainers. They are there to push you, to motivate you, to coach you. But they will not do the work for you. It's still you who has to go there every single week, five to ten hours a week, so you can get in the best shape of your life. All right? And um, thank you. That means that you every week have to start doing the uncomfortable things. You have to do the list, you have to do the calls, you have to do the home events when other people are outside partying. It's uncomfortable in the beginning, but you have to do it so many times over and over again until it becomes comfortable. And when you get com comfortable, it's a part of your lifestyle. And when you get that momentum, you can actually go all in. And that's, that's my tip for you. Great, great. The, this guy, he was on a convention in Las Vegas. I uh, know him from before, from Young Coping. It was like one and a half year ago. And it, it's interesting sometimes, because I was uh, down in Gothenburg, did a uh, seminar, and uh, this guy uh, came by bus. He didn't even have a car at that time, because he was fired from the job and stuff. And he come by, uh, came by bus there, sat in the back, was sitting in the back, uh, taking notes, and it's small, small steps all the time. And you, I know I was thinking when I saw him, this guy is gonna be successful in this business because he do what other people want to. So he tomorrow can do what other people can do, if I said it right. Yeah, whatever. Yiman. <laughs> uh, can you tell me yes. some benefits of becoming a Vima leader? And I know you do this part time. Yes. Yeah, my name is Iman, 32 years old, from, also from Jönköping, Sweden. We saw Vima uh, last convention in uh, April 2013 in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, I was in a really bad place in my life, lost my job, as you said, my car, my fiance, etc. So I had a friend pick me up, brought me over there to show me that there are other opportunities out there than just going back to work. So when I came there, I saw BK, I saw Vima, the company, the success stories, and I saw one thing that I needed, and that was hope. I saw hope for myself to do something else, to become another, to take this my whole life to another level, and I stuck to that hope, took action, listened to the uh, wonderful mentors and coach, and started out with just one vision, and that vision was actually, when I was sitting in the back of this room in Las Vegas, my vision was to stand up here. And if I didn't have that vision so long ago, this day would never even come. At all. So, my suggestion is, oh, Andreas always have a dream big dreams, small has no magic, and that's true. If you don't even see yourself sitting at the back now, being here, maybe next convention, it starts with you, it starts with your vision. And the benefits of actually Taking this to that leadership level and, and being up here and have a business is just tremendous. I mean, the, the amount of personal growth is phenomenal. I think we all have grown so much as people and leaders. And uh, except for the trips and the checks and, of course, the paid BMW by Vima is always a good <laughs> thing to have. <laughs> um, except of all that, I really, really appreciate all these new friends. It's just unbelievable. Really appreciate it. Great, 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 Vima. Um, we, we call him in uh, Sweden uh, Mr. Selfie because he is the one in the whole world making most selfies on Instagram that anybody else 
can even imagine. So I have promised him to take a selfie. So, uh, Yiman, we have two minutes and ten seconds. Do you think you can make it? Can everybody stand <laughs> up? Can you stand up? <laughs> All right. Todd Falcone, this is for you. Selfie. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, so with that, uh, I'm uh, so excited to be a part of this uh, revolution. And uh, I, I actually would love what I do, and it doesn't matter if you have done it for five years or becoming an ambassador or royal ambassador. I see people always out there do the whole meetings, and that's what it's all about. Lead by example and uh, follow the people that are actually going somewhere. And with that, uh, we will hope uh, I talk for you all, guys. Uh, have a, a magic evening and weekend. And with that, thank you, uh, and uh... <laughs> let's go to work. Thank, thank you. you.